Hi, Gary DePasquale here. I'm from the International House of Prayer Eastern Gate. We're based here in New Jersey, part of the Metro New York region. And uh, I just want to give you a little bit about what the Lord has been doing here. We are filled with prophetic history here in this region. Uh, we uh, have been planted in a, an area in which within 40 miles of this house of prayer, there are 8 million people that live. And part of that 8 million people, there are no less than 14 unreached people groups that have not come into this area. There's over 200 unreached people groups that live within this 40 mile radius. Uh, over half a million are Hindu, 800,000 are Muslim. There's just rich, uh, there's a richness in the uh, harvest that exists right here in our own very backyard. And we're just happy to be able to have the Lord give us uh, not just insight to what he's doing, but to be able to actually participate through worship and prayer, intercession, in uh, winning the loss to Jesus. And that's what this whole thing is all about. So uh, the part of the history of this region is, uh, is a very rich in revival. Uh, Finney has uh, gone his way. Charles Finney had his, most of his ministry throughout this uh, New York area. Also, uh, what I call the, um, the Forgotten Revival, in 1905, there was a revival that hit New York City, New Jersey, all the way down to Atlantic City, where no less than 250,000 people were involved after they became saved through the word and preaching and the singing of uh, intercessors and evangelists up and down this state. This is four months before the Azusa Street Revival out in California. So it just goes to tell you that uh, this area is just primed in the prophetic history for a reformation and a release of God's spirit to bring many into the kingdom. And uh, we're a part of it. We're right smack dab in the middle of it. So being a part of Love New York 24-7 uh, is uh, just such an excitement in our hearts here as a ministry, the staff that is here, and I know for many other pastors that I've mentioned this to already, uh, to be able to uh, have not only our intercession go 24 seven, but to be able to have the ground troops out upon the streets, preaching the word, knowing that the support of principalities and power is being disrupted and declared to from a, another location is uh, totally causing an open heaven for our evangelism. Evangelism is absolutely more effective when intercession and prayer is going up at the same time. I'm believing 24 seven prayer uh, uh, and evangelism into New York City. I'm believing 24 seven evangelism into New York City is gonna be heightened by the very intercession that's being released during that same time. I think not only evangelism, not only the lost being saved, but people being delivered, that the pimps will be released from their activity, that sex slave industry will be crumbled, that the crack houses will close down, that the sick will be healed. I'm expecting because of this coming together that should have never been separated of evangelism and prayer, there will be a manifestation of glory over this region that won't only be for that week, but that's gonna continue not only in this region, but will sweep across the nation. That's what we're contending for. I just wanna invite other pastors and ministry leaders, uh, uh, gospel singers, evangelists, all those that are in this region, to be, uh, wanna personally invite you to be a part of what's going on in 24-7, uh, Love New York 24-7. Uh, it's not only uh, to help us bring in the harvest, though that's important, but it will be an automatic discipleship program for you and your congregation. Seeing the lost one to the kingdom with a group of people, a corporate anointing of the harvest will change their lives forever. Your youth group, your senior citizens, every age group. This isn't just for one generation. It is an automatic discipleship program that will not only grow the kingdom, but it will grow disciples in your own work that you're experiencing here in this region. I just want to encourage you to be a part of history. God is causing the historical 
ripples of the waters of intercession and evangelism to reach the shores of the East Coast. This isn't some thing to do on a week out of the year, but God is setting us up, the Holy Spirit is setting us up to experience something in this week-long evangelism prayer that will have the ripple effects to reach not only the next year, but the generations should the Lord tarry. It's that important.